Hello and welcome to Delta Blues Mondays. Um, I'm David Delar and this is Lick 22. Um, this is a series I've been doing now for 22 weeks and if you've just joined us, welcome. Um, this week I'm looking at Saturday Blues by Ishman Bracey, um, a fantastic guitarist who's kind of unsung. Yeah, everyone always talks about Robert Johnson and Sunhouse. Um, not many people talk about Ishman and um, he was fantastic. Loads of really great songs. Um, this particular song is uh, kind of two guitarists really. There's another guy called Tommy Johnson on the record and this sort of uh, thing I'm about to show you is kind of an amalgamation of two parts really. I love it mainly because it's a sort of a switching between swung and straight which I really like about the blues. There's a very nice sense of groove across it which is really strong on the downbeat and it's um, just really good fun to play as well, it's just a nice lick to play. So um, on the record it's either a capo on the first fret or because it's a 78 it just might be just horrendously out of tune but I can't really tell the difference. Um, so when I play along with the original, I put the capo on the first fret, so we're in F, but um, I'm gonna teach you guys an E, and it's most likely it was recorded in E. Um, I'm not sure if capos were that readily available in the 20s. Anyway, so we're looking at E, and it's gonna be an E 12 bar blues, my version of this. Um, so the first thing, the bass is doing like this alternating thing, as far as I can tell. So we're going from the E string, we're putting down an E chord, yeah, and then we're going from the E string, the low E string, going up to the D string, going down back to the E string, but we're putting a little pinky on the third fret to play in G natural, giving it a slight bend, and then to the A string, second fret, which is already down, to play a B. So we're going E, E, G. Because it's blues, it's never that sort of clean. It's always a bit dirty. So um, I tend to put a, a palm mute on everything. Right, so. Ah, so the second thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna play um, this rhythm with the B string. So. So it's kind of a little skip, a very subtle sips, skip, <laughs> sip. Sometimes uh, it feels like it's swung. Sometimes it feels straighter. Um, that's what I meant. So have a listen to the record. It starts off very swung and then throughout the record it kind of gets straighter and straighter, which is quite cool actually, I quite like that effect. So. Um, ignoring uh, talking about the thumb, what's going on is uh, I'm playing the B string, open B, but I'm hammering on with a little pinky onto the second fret B string, letting go to an open B string, and then doing the same thing essentially on the G string. So we're going G, hammering onto the G, and then down to the D string, second fret. So the rhythm is this, it's kind of on the A uh of one, so it's uh, one and a, uh. that's when that first B comes in, one and a. Uh. There's a lot of movement in the swing. Sometimes it's... Sometimes it's... So I suggest just kind of playing around with it, to be honest, because I don't think these guys were like, we're gonna do the same thing for the entire song. I think they were just kind of feeling it. So just feel it yourself, you know, there's no right or wrong way of doing this sort of stuff. So that's what I'm settling on, something like that. So it's just hammering on to the B string, second fret. And essentially doing the same thing on the G string, down to the D string. For the A chord, 
There's two guitarists, so I think Ishman's doing this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How about the uh, <laughs> whatever that rockabilly song is? Um, it's not that. It's uh, A C sharp E G. So this is the bass, really. So we're going A string, full fret, the C sharp. Then to the D string, second fret. Then to the D string, fifth fret for the G, and we kind of pull on that. And I'm, I've added this sort of A G, just to kind of like give it a sense of going back to the the E. So the bass is A C sharp E G, A C sharp E G, A G, like so. And then there's another guitarist on the end of one, one and, and two and three and one and two and three and four and one. So that's an A7 chord, going to sort of an A, an A6 I guess, and then back to the A7. Yeah. So we're going to try to do that at the same time. So we're doing the A by itself, the C sharp comes down with the A7 chord. The, the second finger comes off when you play the E. So you're basically playing that 6 with the E. And then you're putting the G back down again, the second finger, with the little pinky as well. Then you're going back to the E. For two bars. Then for the B7, we're just going to play B7 straight uh, for four beats. One, two, three, four. Go back to the A7 riff. And then we're going to start this tag, which is at the end of the song. So have a listen to the end of Ishman Bracey's version, and you'll hear this tag, which is... Yeah, it's quite a nice little bass line. So he's playing an E, E, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, B flat, or A sharp, um, G, D, E, going up an octave, or two, two, four, four, two, four, two, one, three. So I'm doing that with my first finger, third finger, first finger, third finger, shifting down a position to basically what, like a B7 kind of shape, I guess. thing nice and slowly. Three, four. Saturday Blues by Ishman Bracey. I think it's a little bit faster on the record.
very much for watching guys uh, free tap score down there please subscribe if you like this uh, sort of thing for weekly videos every Monday 1pm check it out thank you very much for watching cheers